herbicides can be extremely beneficial in controlling serrated tussock. However, they should not be relied on as the sole method of control. Herbicides used for the control of serrated tussock may cause damage to non-target species, including native vegetation and grasses. It's important to understand what other vegetation is present and assess the level of risk of non-target damage. For smaller infestations, they can be a lot easier to control, um, but in larger infestations like this, it can be quite difficult for a private landholder to be able to do it by themselves. So engaging a contractor such as us, we can really help because we've got a lot more equipment that we've got uh, to come out and address the weeds that way, using the spot spray method, uh, a handgun application and a rig mounted spray equipment rig. It also helps to have uh, some native and weed identification training and also being a bit more skilled. You know, there's a lot of factors that you have to go through when you're uh, treating weeds, such as weather, temperatures, equipment, herbicide rates, things like that. Landholders are encouraged to seek advice from an agronomist and or to use a registered contractor who will have the necessary skills, experience, qualifications and equipment to safely carry out broadacre spraying. Strong competition through the maintenance of good ground cover is vital in preventing the re-establishment of serrated tussock. On arable land, boom spraying is effective when followed by sowing down with a competitive crop or pasture improvement. On non-arable land with native grasslands or degraded introduced pasture, ground cover can be maintained by reducing grazing pressure to increase competition. Landholders are encouraged to seek professional advice from a local agronomist regarding boom spraying, cropping and pasture improvement. Under Victorian legislation, there are controls on the use of agricultural chemicals and it is the responsibility of the user to be familiar with this legislation. Some chemicals require the user to hold an agricultural chemical user's permit. Choose only products registered for use in your situation and always read the label and follow the instructions carefully.